Good evening to all you fellow TI individuals out there. Um, in this video, I'm going to be discuss, uh, discussing on a topic I wanted to uh, go over uh, for a while now. And it's uh, remote neural monitoring as well as remote manipulation. Now, they're, they're very different on, uh, from what I've discovered. Remote neural monitoring is uh, a form of which they are using nanotech of which they've exposed you to pretty much everyone to. Um, as a form of uh, reconnaissance through the eyes, meaning they're able to actually look through your, um, use the nano to connect to your retina, which is also viewing through your eyes to, um, the image, the, you know, you know, due to the uh, light and the imaging that is being projected through. Now, in regards to that, let's see, yeah, I think, I think this is about the, there's a few other screenshots. I want to also point out, I do not claim copyright to this uh, photo, as you can see. It's, um, I don't even know. I don't really like the name of that website, honestly. So just uh, j j just bear with it. But this is like the best picture I could find so far. But there are other ones too. Anyway, with my own experience with this, from what I can tell, remote neural monitoring and remote remote neural manipulation are definitely two different things. Remote neural manipulation is where they um are implanting uh, synthetic telepic uh, thoughts into you to uh, trigger a reaction and from my understanding is that they also um a lot of the information as far as stuff from as far as youtube google um and all those other social even especially facebook especially facebook and um what i've learned is uh the reason why they got so much collection data on those and it's because it's actually to, uh to literally determine like uh what what are your what are, what are your react what are your reactions to they, which is also why they put the uh the cameras on the front of the devices just as well as it having so much radiation beaming off like with the five and four g's that couldn't just be it couldn't just be much of a coincidence that they got a camera in front of a phone that uh, I mean, you know, you know, a, a video, ca a, a camera that's literally made in front of the phone, as well as it projecting radiation, as to which this nano actually reacts to. Because otherwise, why would they, you know, why would they be beaming you with radiation in the first place? Now, when this stuff uh, starts to scout for uh, GPS, when they start to really lose the signal, it, you will actually feel an itchy sensation on the top of your head. These are these things trying to pick up the uh, radioactive, uh, the radio uh, frequencies that they're beaming onto you, to, you know, to try to reestablish the signal, to try to reestablish the connection that, you know, via GPS. That's they, but at the same time that they're doing this, they put these, the nano puts itself a, uh, as a vulnerability. The formula that I created um, that you'll see in one of my past videos, if you were to, if you, if that stuff was to come out and you were to either spray that on your head, it would kill it automatically. Or, but you could also like uh, just brush or, or even just wipe, get, get a rag or something to wipe this stuff right off. And the itchiness will literally just be gone just like that. So these things really put themselves in a vulnerable state when they, uh, when they do that. But the thing is, is that like you, when they, uh, the problem with these things are is that once this stuff gets into your system, it actually has the ability to reproduce itself. It uh and it does this with a lot of things. I've tried the uh, method as far as um the uh, the uh, the acid the acids from the fruit, and I've actually felt the larvae moving around. So that's that was one thing. The other thing is um is that as much uh, what I've started actually what I started doing with like my detox baths since um since citrus seems to have a strong effect on this, I would uh, take like orange slices. Not the actual fruit or whatever. The fruit I would just eat, but the actual slices themselves, the uh, you know the uh, the the, uh, the the skins of the uh, the oranges, I would put those in my bath water, and then uh, I would have that in there with the Epsom salt and stuff. I would have that uh, also. I would also uh, like uh, chop up some lemons or whatever, and I won't I won't eat the stuff off of that, but I'll leave that in there, and that puts the uh, the natural acids into the water. And that stuff is, I'm, while I'm bathing in that, that stuff is literally killing the uh, Magellan stuff out. Not just the Magellans, but also the uh, the Nano, because they can't survive in that. that. That actually acts as a booster. But the problem, the real problem is that the water that's coming through the pipes is already contaminated. So 
what I um the best thing to do, and I don't know if they do have it for the bathtubs or not, but the best thing to do is uh, find a filter, get a filter, and have that on everything that's actually producing water that uh into your home, your apartment, or any place like that. Get a decent enough filter for something like that. that that's my that's, I highly recommend that. I haven't did it yet, but I do plan on doing that soon. Um, but uh. I think this is like the best description as to what uh, this uh, you know this stuff looks like. But I don't believe they just let any gang stalker get access to technology like this. What I honestly believe is that um, some of these uh, gang stalkers, what they'll do is they'll uh, what they'll do is they'll just give the uh, the location of where you're at, and then they'll use the via they'll use the satellite to beam the radiation to that location which causes a connection with the nano because I noticed when they somehow sometimes would do this there's a uh, there's like a gravitational pull with the nano I, I really felt this when I caught a cab once and um, it was at a very last minute they weren't expecting it and I just ended up just dashing out they couldn't they couldn't keep up with me at the time they did catch up but at the time I was be, uh, I was mobile, they couldn't keep up with me. So it was it was very um, a spur of the moment type of thing, and I could literally feel this stuff being pulled as I was leaving. So whenever you, if you were to immediately like uh, dash out into a certain direction, it's to where it's like spontaneous, and um, not really spontaneous, but I guess uh, I th is that what, uh, is that the one I'm looking for? It's uh, it, it's like I guess the best word, way to put it is unpredictable, meaning you're not thinking about it, you're just doing it. So I guess I guess that would be a form of spontaneous, huh? But anyway, um, at least I hope I got the right word because I'm not, because that's getting too close to spontaneous combustion. This video is nowhere near that subject. So if I got it wrong, please just leave the uh the word I'm looking for it in the comment section. I I would greatly appreciate it. But um. From what I discovered, like this stuff has to leave, literally exit the body if it's getting to the point where it's losing a signal, and uh, it does that to, you know, to catch the signal back to give it off, to give a GPS signal off, the stress signal out, so it can, you know, pick up where you're at. But you could wipe this, literally wipe this, wipe this stuff off of you when it does that. I took a uh, a rag once when this happened like crazy, and I ended up just getting a heck of a lot of them out. It got so bad that. The, the handler actually, uh, the person who was instructing these guys to keep the uh, GPS, keep the radiation on me when they kept keying in my location, the uh, dude who was the handler to them actually had to literally come out towards the scene. Not the one that doesn't want to be seen, but the one that uh, that uh, that doesn't really matter to be seen, as far as I know. Now, I've rarely seen these people before, but you got to understand, with technology like this existing in the way it is. And with them beaming down chemtrails on every, just about every freaking state, that's stuff everybody is exposed to. And I don't know about the next person, but nobody who wasn't aware know, knew about the cures to this. They didn't know about the countermeasures to this. They didn't know about the cleansing. They didn't know about any of that. So what, what this technology has the ability to do when it comes to remote manipulation, they that means as you already know but i'm just going to clarify it being you can be manipulated into doing just about anything without your without you even being aware and by the way and for all you who do know and we all know this a person who is not aware is the one who is most vulnerable to um manipulation what i want you to do because um i'm telling you they tried this mess on me just the other night but um my me i have too much of a good memory to forget and uh, I'm not gonna allow myself to be converted for these, uh, for the pleasure of these d demonically possessed. Uh, if you can even call them people anymore, I don't even know if you can or not. Um, still, I'm still struggling a little bit to dealing with this, but I'm getting control each and every time. I've already uh, ordered something that's gonna really help me out with that. If they screw up with that, I also got a backup plan for that as well, which they probably already know. But I actually do intend to make that today. To just get that out of the way. Um, also, I discovered something today as well. And I, I was curious about it before. And I, I started to realize um, people who are under, it, it, maybe everybody really, 
If you're under remote neural monitoring and remote neural manip manipulation, again, please, this will be the second time I'm mentioning this. Please let me know if you have bumps in the back of your head. It could be like two individual ones or a single one. I found out that when I was started, I got two of them in the back of my head, and I realized when I started messing with that, the uh, gang stalkers ended up getting even more desperate. I realized that they got even more desperate, so I think that has something to uh, do with it. I'm not entirely sure, but I know for a fact it caused an interference the way they had to desperately get my attention. So they didn't, they definitely didn't want me messing with that. So whatever that was, it could be um, RFID, uh, uh, the location of where they're actually injecting RFID fluid. Because I already, I've already read the articles that they've known, they've been known to be using uh, insects for their technology. And uh, with that being known, think about it. The only thing that uh, that is very stealth-like is a uh, mosquito, right? Or even a gnat. That's the thing that's the most stealth-like because you wouldn't expect that, especially when you're outside. Now, even when I'm out and about, I've seen insects just randomly fly by me before, which is very... It's not too odd, but considering the situation, I don't think... I don't think insects are drawn to radiation. I don't believe that they are. I could be wrong. I, I, I definitely could be wrong. But if anybody knows about that, please let me know. But um, yeah, I think this. I think the RFID fluid that um, they're injecting people is being injected through the back of the neck, where you can't see it, and it's it's to a point to where whatever you are, you know, under the influence of it, like. Uh, it messes with the tension in that area so that when they actually inject you with this stuff, you can't even feel it. When I started messing with it, like, um, it's like, it's like a lot of pressure back there, but it's not too much. Um, it's crazy though. Uh, but man, like I'm still, I'm still, uh, trying to find more information on this, but from what I've realized, the, uh, the bumps, on the back of the on the back of the neck, close to where the brainstem is, seems to have an effect on their signaling. And somehow, I don't believe that I'm the only one who uh, has got that. I could be wrong because I, I will not deny that they definitely have multiple methods of using this technology. Once again, I don't really believe like uh, the lady, uh, you know, in the picture here. I don't really believe that's her real name. I don't think they would ever do that as far as using a person's actual name. So, um, just, just going to go ahead and point that out. I don't believe, uh, yeah, I don't believe that's, it, it, normally when it comes to pictures like this, they never use a person's real name. So just go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and mention that. So no, just knowing that no one's, you know, info is being exposed here. This is just used as a, a example. Now, judging from what the uh, what I'm seeing in the picture here, it says uh, paranoia, fear, pain, confusion, nausea, memory, panic, sleep, attack, lith lethargy. I don't know, uh, sexual and suicide. Now, what I want people to do because of how uh, advanced this technology is, if you have an audio recorder. Record um, a message for yourself, reminding yourself of who you are and who you know um, you uh, knew and who you know you definitely are. Because if you don't have that reminder, I'm afraid that they may. Um, the more and more you uh, get influenced by this, the more and more there's a chance that you may actually uh, wind up forgetting your true self. This technology um, will des is like it's like constant it is like constantly trying to most likely convert you into something that which they want you to be or trying to convert you into doing something that they want you to do it's um it's a crazy state of affairs that we're dealing with this because this technology could actually work wonders it could actually do a lot more and be a lot more beneficial to the community instead of it being used as a weapon but you know, as the old saying goes, when um, when it comes to people who have power, they seek to use that power. If you uh, if you don't stop them, they go too far. They go way too far. 
and this is just one of those cases. It's people. It's just people in in uh, higher higher positions who uh, have access to power and wealth and are using it for uh, terrorism. And it's very it's very sad too because a person can be born, you know, they'll start off as a baby or whatever, they'll grow up, and have absolutely no idea that their entire life is being manipulated from the start. If we don't stop this as soon as we can, or whenever we can, then it's going to get to a point that where it'll be in, come incredibly impossible to stop. Because the the uh, the generation that's in play now, before the next generation takes over, we are already too far aware of this technology and what they're doing to people. But no matter how many times you try to make your your um your message heard, no matter how many times they try to uh, no 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 matter how many no matter how many times you try to reach out. When it comes to it, as far as people could actually, who are actually in positions to do something about it, they ignore you, they shun you away, they turn your, they they, they turn you to uh, look the other way, they uh, they ignore you, but at the same time, they discredit you, they slander you, they force you in a state of homelessness, they force you in a state to where they they blacklist you to where you can't even work. They do all of this because you don't want to be influenced into what they want to make you out to be. That could even well be a criminal, by the way. They could be trying to influence you to become a criminal, but you don't want to. So since you refuse to uh, do wrong, they're going to they're going to they're going to literally torment you. Just because you don't want to be, uh, become what they want you to become, they're going to force you to become what they want you to become by force. They're going to use people around you against you. They're going to come up with just about any kind of lie that they want. Even though they full, even the gang stalkers know this full too well. The people who are fully involved understand that people's minds are being manipulated from day one. They know this. Just, I'm pretty certain just about anybody or pretty much everybody in prison right now has been, and they've, it's been known that they've used MK Ultra on people in prison. So it's pretty obvious that they were all victims of manipulation from the start. But I, I, I tell you, out of all the times I watched Cops and I used to really love that show, now when I watch it, I just... I don't even know what to think anymore. I, I really don't. Because it seems like a lot of stuff that goes on is just... It, it's just completely corrupt and complete, completely backwards. You're being influenced to think, oh, they're doing, they're doing the right thing. They're not, they're not uh, corrupt and whatnot when they uh, arrest certain people. And that people who like do certain things are complete uh, responsible for their actions, although they're being um, exposed to this technology on a daily basis. They've been eating this stuff that has been known to for this technology to inheat to. They've been ingesting different foods of which this stuff can inheat to and actually make a connection. I don't believe anybody in prison is a real criminal. I believe they were um, mostly influenced into this, but judging by the situation, it could be uh, the, the it could also have the reverse effect on it too. It could have been someone who was working for them who was already awake and already uh, aware, and they just decided to cross them in the wrong way, and then they put them in jail for it. Yeah, I'm not gonna deny. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deny that part either. But um. They are desperately trying to get the RFID chips um, approved and uh, mandatory. There, we can't let that happen. There's no way any of us can allow that to happen. What we, what everybody needs to understand is that the government itself doesn't hold the power. The power is within the people. 
They don't own the world, but they would want you to think they own the world. This is supposed to be the land that America's supposed to be the land of the free. Not the land of you're only as free as we are as we will allow you to think you're free. I believe that was the initial intent. But as you can tell, there are corrupted um, intentions, even within the government, within the police force, within the military, especially within the military, and much, much more. This, um... The situation, it's just, it's, it's twisted on so many levels, you know? Let's see if I can find another image. There's a, yeah, H -A -H -A -A -R -P. cameras, GPS, satellites, all that jazz. And that's also from the same website. I really wish they did not use and they didn't make the website with that kind of name. Because in this in this case, no one is crazy. If anybody is crazy, it's the bastards who are exposing this technology to the public and ex you know exp it did all this experimentation. But they don't want nobody to know. And if you did, if you don't know, um, Cat Williams, the uh, the comedian, he's also a TI. Um, they uh, the Illuminati a while ago they tried to recruit him, but the stuff he saw on the inside freaked him out so much. Uh, he yeah he backed out of that immediately. He he wasn't going that route. When he saw what they were doing and the stuff that they were doing, man, it's insane. You want to find out more about it? Go ahead and look it up. But, uh, yeah, man, like this, this organization is insane. But also, um, I want, before I end this video, I want to leave you all with a bit of advice. When they, uh, when they start to, uh, discredit you in public, you can actually use that against them. If they say such and such about you, right, you can walk up to them and make sure you got your camera and make, be mindful of where you're at. Ask them, uh, okay, since you're saying this and this about me, I want you to show me some evidence. I want you to show me some evidence right now. Otherwise, if you don't want to show me anything, then you can, then you can just go ahead and just mind your own business and, and just go on something. But you know they're not going to do that because they're being paid to basically... Uh, babysit you 24 7 I, I like to call you I, I like to use the word babysit because that's what it kind of feels like it's like every little thing that you do from everything despite it being under but despite it being un, under are you fighting the influence of remote nor monitoring or remote mostly remote nor manipulation by the way it's like it, it's just crazy you know but you know you know something the advice I wanted to give out is be mindful of things that you can deal with. Be mindful of things that you can't deal with. As far as them wearing like several colors and whatnot, you can film that, but don't freak out about it. Don't get bent out of shape about it. And I'm telling you, this will save you some, uh, some, this will save you for some stress. You can't tell a person what they can and cannot wear. You can't tell a person, oh, they can't walk over there and do this. They can't walk over and do that. In the end, they, they can do whatever they want with their bodies. They can do whatever they want as far as walking around, whatever they dress into, whatever they're doing. That's just that's just the um, that's just the whole process of that. It may be a form of uh, harassment. We all know this. It is. That's why it's important to take documentation. But do not freak out about it. Do not react. Do not give them a reaction. Do not give them any type of credibility that their shit of what they're doing is working. Don't. Take footage of it and mark the location down of where this stuff is happening and, uh, and you know, do all, the, do all the necessary documentation. 
to gather up all the necessary evidence so that you can build yourself up a case. Do that. But do not give them the power to actually take away your happiness. Don't. Remember, you didn't sign yourself up for this. No one did. Whatever, um, whatever sin you committed in the past, remember, the, the Most High is watching over all of us. Forgiveness is there. You just have to be willing to seize it. You have to be willing to repent. You have to be willing to pray. And it is unfortunate that even religion is being uh, twisted in, in the way out there now. It, it's crazy. But remember... Remind, really look deep within your heart and remind yourself of who you truly are. And try to, un the best thing you can do is try to understand yourself for who you know for a fact you are and what they are trying to manipulate you into being. Once you know that, once you understand that and you start avoiding the manipulation, you start actually counteracting the manipulation to where you can uh, just immediately just... Uh, dispel it every time it's happening you start to understand who you truly are one step at a time it's not easy but you can get there i have confidence in every ti that has the capabilities of doing this i truly do i have confidence in all of you i have confidence in myself and i believe that if we all pull together we can make a difference we can make a change and we can and we can definitely put it into this organization for good. It's not going to be easy. There's no way in the world it's going to be easy at all. They will try to stop you. They will try to discredit you. They will lie, slander, set up, trick you. They will do everything that they possibly can to stop you. This is MMSTI Strategy Guy, and remember... Stay safe, be strong. I'm over and out.